hello everyone have I gone completely mad no well maybe this is one of the colors from Jeffrey star blues blue blooded there you go ah uh, obviously you have to be kind of quirky to wear something like this this is the first color okay which I thought I'd start just to scare the hell out of you these are the colors and this is the one I'm wearing now it looks a little bit bluish it has a very very slight blue tint and it's actually you can tell more if it's like in a shadow uh, this is called drug lord and I don't know but I find this you know odd lip colors are better suited like if you wear a base this is one that I use Sigma and it just takes the edge is the color of skin well of white skin hmm. it just takes the edge of your lips and you know the color and uh, I'm gonna try them all but that could be a good product when trying odd lip colors like this okay so next one is this one which is ice tray so let's see on this one okay this one as crazy as these colors are it's less crazy than the white one I suppose the white one could be good to use as an accent, you know, in the middle of the lips. But I wanted to show you just how it looks. So here's the new one. And I think it looks good with this, with this makeup as well. So on to the next. Next is this one in the series and it's called Jawbreaker. All right. I really like this color. <laughs> really like this color. Now, I like the previous one. This is actually warm. It's a warm blue, very turquoise. And all well, the colors I'm wearing in my eyes are kind of warm also, as you can tell. Not every, not everyone will suit this color or it won't suit any, everyone. But if you if it suits you, oh, it's really pretty. Uh, next one is Blue Velvet in the series, and it's this. It's a very dark blue color. Mm, actually, this one goes really well with the makeup. Very, very gothic, but I, I really like this one, too. And it's a cool color, so, you know, you won't look really sick or anything like that. I like it. Next one on is even darker here in the series. It's this one is called Abused. This one is even more goth and it goes also, again, really well with this makeup. Next one, and we're getting to the end there, is this one, and it's called Diamond. Uh, I don't know well, the formula of this lipstick is very good. this color <clears throat> I mean I've been wiping them off okay they come these are very difficult colors some of them stain I know some products like this uh, anyway this is just to to show you 
this is beautiful. And again, with this makeup, I think it looks very good. Um, yeah, they wipe clean. They don't stain your lips at all. Even, you know, the darkest colors. Very good. I mean, my trusted bioderma there. And... All at once. They're gone. Very, very good formula in that sense. All right, getting to the end here. And this one is Titanic. And this has a shimmer. So I think this is going to be awesome. Okay, here we go with Titanic. And oh my God, I love this color. Look at this. Oh my God. And I think this is even the, the best one for the makeup. Absolutely love this color. Oh, absolutely lovely. And this is my makeup color for this makeup, definitely. And this is the last one, which is called Medusa. This is pretty much gray. And again, I really like how it goes with this makeup, but it appears that I've chosen the right makeup for this. All right, so lovely colors. If you are into quirky things like this or if you need to do a tutorial, it's an awesome set to have. The other one, obviously, is this one. It looks very odd on the lips. But one thing that I have a feeling you can do with these lipsticks is to mix and match and give, you know, volume and, and dimension to your lips. Like, there, I've added a little bit of the white. And, you know, it just, yeah, it definitely, it would be a good, oops, sorry. It would be a good um, trump card, you know, to have. Um, I love the texture. They're liquid, but, you know, you have to have really moisturized lips. I've been using this one, which is the Nux Rep de Miel, which is an opaque lip moisturizer. <clears throat> it's very good. So moisturize your lips beforehand whilst you're doing the rest of your makeup, I would say. Then I would recommend, although I haven't used it here, but for these odd colors that they're so different from the tone of the lips, this product by Sigma, it's a lip base, like I showed before. So put that, let it sink a little bit, then do your lips. And yeah, I mean, I will be playing with this and creating new colors. It's, a, it's an awesome set. So anyway, sorry about that. My camera cut off. Anyway, yes, lovely, lovely quirky lipsticks. This by Jeffree Star. I hope you try them. I will make some looks you know and in the upcoming videos and you know keep trying them i i just love this this look anyway um give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and all the others and thank you very much for watching i shall see you in my next one bye